Oh, good morning. Kind of like doing the morning thing a little bit, so I'm going to do it again today, and then I'll probably get back to the evening ones so I can enjoy my bullet bourbon. It's great stuff. I'm actually going to try. I talked to uh, I talked to Bullet Bourbon on the phone yesterday, and they, I told them what I was doing. They thought it was super cool. They really liked it, so thank you to Bullet Bourbon. Uh, it's a great story. Please check them out. Uh, go ahead and try some. And she, uh, they recommended also the uh, the Bullet Rye whiskey, which is, uh, you know, the bourbon is made usually out of a corn mash, stuff like that. The rye is made out of rice. It's a form of wheat or in the wheat family. And uh, that'll be that'll be cool because some cigars, the the bourbon has kind of a little smoother taste. The rye whiskey has more of a more of a, a bite to the after finish, which would be great to complement some different cigars. Also, got my grandma glass. These two things here, I think I'm just gonna have by me whenever I'm doing something. I'm not drinking them this morning because it's morning and I don't do that until in the evening if I'm going to do it. What I do have, and you know I have it, is my morning handsome coffee cup. Once again by Peggy. My sister-in-law. Thank you so much for that. Wipe my face off. Today's going to be a little bit different. Um gonna have some humor and whatnot but uh today i'm you know how every once in a while we wake up and we're in a bit of a mood i do this but i yeah there we go a mood we all have pet peeves in life we all have things that irritate us a little bit and uh i'll i'm gonna kind of get into that a little bit and hopefully you know some people like that and or you are a person that i'm you know, kind of discuss and you'll maybe learn you look in the mirror <clears throat> look in the mirror look in the mirror and, and if you think your life's all screwed up and just nothing goes right and it's just everybody else's fault you got to do this I actually did this I actually did this several years ago I looked in the mirror and I said everything you don't like about yourself everything you think that's going wrong with yourself Everything that you think other people are thinking is your fault. It's your fault. Now, who's going to have to do something about it? Only you can. And I'm talking to that person in the mirror. And the person in the mirror is going like, hey, I, I ain't got no problems. It's everybody else's fault. No, it was mine. It was mine. I was a right fighter. Stop being a right fighter. <clears throat> Just enjoy life. Sorry. I'm going to get to a cigar that, uh, actually Jesse over Cigar Cave in Medford turned me on to uh, a while back. I wanted to review it because I, I love it. It's the CLE Prieto. It's a 5 by 50 And this, it's a, it's a dark Connecticut wrapper, Maduro. This is... Uh, it's a good cigar, man. This is a good cigar. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about CLE and why I respect them so much. In fact, it's going to kind of tie into uh, my whole thing for today. This is a, uh, a beautiful cigar. It's got a tissue wrapper on it, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, first look is the veins on it are, are tight. Uh, it's got a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say a rustic look, you know, but it's just kind of got a, uh, it's got kind of a cool look, you know, it, it's kind of like looking at art, you know. Sometimes people just splatter paint around and they go, hey, it's art. And somebody looks at it and they go, oh, that's art. I'm going to pay a million bucks for that. That's kind of what this reminds me of. There's so much going on in the in the wrapper. It's kind of cool to look at. You know, all the veins and how the leaf is and stuff like that. And take a look at that label. That is a classy label. Look at that. It's classy. CLE's putting out a great product. 
And I'm going to tell you why they put out a good product and what makes me so impressed with them as we get into this later. It's got a great cap on it. My eyes are, oh, it looks like a triple cap on there. Tobacco's in nice shape. Wow, this has got, for being a Maduro wrapper, I've been told it's like a medium to full body. This has, uh, a, you know, I'm drinking coffee. It's got a lot of coffee note and kind of a chocolatey smell. It's really good. Really good. I think I'm going to enjoy this. And the, the Prieto is slang for dark in Spanish. That's, that's why they call it that. So let's uh, cut this thing off. Just a tad, a little bit that came off. Do a cold draw on it. Wow, a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee. When I do a cold draw, I actually suck it into my lungs and then exhale. I do a retro hail out of my nose. And it really, if you've never done that, some people just kind of take it into their mouth, roll it around and retro hail even on the, on the cold draw. But I kind of take it into my lungs. I mean, boy, I pick up a lot of flavors doing that. Don't want to do it when it's lit because you're going to choke yourself to death and fall out of your chair. It's going to be easy to do CPR on you. And if they don't like you, they'll just do CPR on you stomping on your chest with your foot. Wow. Sweet, coffee, chocolatey taste. That's incredible. I really like it. Just give her a toasting. Doesn't have a lot of smoke. I always kind of blow out a little bit just so it's not sucking in all the hard uh, burned particles that uh, from toasting it. It's fired up. Got a little bit of pepper. It's good. Boy, that's uh, it's got that really coffee and chocolate notes. It's not sweet like uh, like a mocha kind of thing is, you know. It's just got that it's like I like my coffee black. It's kind of like that that black coffee that you open up and you smell uh, with like a half a spoon of chocolate in it. It's mocha-ish. It's not a mocha. It's not just a black coffee. It's mocha-ish. Really smooth draw. As you can notice, this is box-pressed. Kind of a squarish, rectangular shape. Nicely packed. The ash is pretty cool. It's uh, you can see the tobacco as it burns. How nicely packed it is for being as tightly packed as it is. It's soft. It's pliable. And uh, we're gonna see how this first third goes. Boy, the retro hail really picks up that that coffee. I'm liking this quite a bit. I keep adding to my top five. I think in no time, uh, I'm going to have like seven or eight top cigars in my top five. Because I don't want to say they're in my top ten. Nothing wrong with the top ten. You know, David Letterman did it for a million years. You know, it's top ten. But uh, I had a bug on my glasses. <clears throat> But I think all the really good cigars should all be in my top five, even if there's 15 of them. They're going to be in my top five. Because there's going to be three 
cigars for every top one. Math. My math. So, so far, great. It's actually got good smoke now. It's pleasant. It's a beautiful cigar. I gotta tell you, this thing's got a great look to it. It's just got a great look. You know, it's nice. It's burning even. I got a little bit of a breeze out here. It's sharp. The ash is beautiful. And the label just says class to me. And that's going to make sense to you when I tell you their story. About how classy this company is. And I just don't say that. I actually do my research on these things. You know, and I check them out. And, you know, you can find anything online. A lot of it doesn't matter. But I, I'm a pretty smart guy. So I check out these things. And I uh, got a lot of respect for them. And you're going to find out why when I get back. And I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a sea story today, because I'm pretty passionate about something today. Got my old guys rule shirt on. Old guys do rule, for the most part, because we've learned some lessons in life. And if you learn a lesson in life, and you actually learn it, not that you just learn it and it falls out the other side, because you think you're too smart. None of us are too smart. But I'll tell you what, be smart enough to go grab a CLE. Prieto. Amazing cigar. Support your local cigar stores. Go support them. Talk to them. They'll always hook you up. Cigar Cave in Midford and Grants Pass always hooks me up. So, anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Yep, this is Boz with Boz Cigar Reviews. I am back. As you can tell, I'm into the first third. Drinking my coffee with my morning handsome mug. And uh, this thing... Uh, as the tobacco is heating up, you kind of notice it's kind of strange. Uh, maybe it's because of the box press. I don't know if you can see it, but you see it's it's kind of swelling a little bit uh, right where it gets warm. I mean, it, it's hot up in here. And I noticed that it's kind of swelling a little bit, which is perfectly normal, I'm sure. But I think it's just the, uh, as that tobacco heats up, it's expanding. And it's letting in even more flavors, which is really, really nice. It's got some pepper to it. It's uh, almost like a, <clears throat> a spicy, a spicy, hot kind of pepper in a way. So still got the coffee, still got the chocolate, but now it's getting a kind of a, a nice, spicy, peppery, kind of a hot pepper, I'm, I'm thinking, like a cayenne, cayenne pepper. Not saying it burns, but it has a, that, I'll tell you a story. This is the one story I'm going to tell. It's kind of, it, it, it's crazy funny to me. When I was a kid, uh, my dad, uh, I was born down in East LA in the 50s and raised through the 60s down there. My dad uh, ran heavy equipment and stuff, and uh, all the employees would get together. We'd go to different houses. Had a bunch of guys from Mexico that invited us over, and uh, they put on this huge spread. Oh my God, the food! I remember it was about eight or nine years old. It was fantastic. And they had these these big glass jars full of jalapenos. I didn't really know what they were. I just know my dad was eating the crap out of them. You know, he's just chowing them down. Everybody's chowing them down. I'm going, oh, I want one. Come on, Dad, I want one. He's going, oh, no, boy, these things are pretty spicy. You know, they're pretty hot. And I'm going, my dad can do it. I can do it. So. You know, a bunch of the guys says, give the boy a, a jalapeno. So I ate that thing. Man, I remember it. And at first I'm going, oh, yeah, look at me. I'm, I'm eating this jalapeno like everybody else, you know. And I'm a big boy. <laughs> that sucker lit me on fire. It lit me on fire. And my like, God, I just, the tears were running. The snot was flowing. And, and. And my dad, you know, he wouldn't give me nothing. As some of the guys said, oh, give him, give him some milk, or give him some water. Something. Milk works really well. My dad said, oh, no, no, he's, that boy's going to learn. And uh, I learned. Them suckers were hot. They weren't the store-bought. They were the hot ones. So... About six, eight months ago, I went to a chocolate factory here. There's a, a, a really cool chocolate uh, factory in uh, 
Central Point. And uh, I wheeled my dad in. He's in his wheelchair. I see these little teeny pieces of hot, uh, chocolate. It says, if you don't like hot stuff, don't eat them. They got uh, that ghost pepper. I think is what it is. It's ghost pepper stuff in them. Wow, I really like this. The flavor is incredible. Go out and get a CLE, uh, the uh, Prieto. Man, this is mm, the boss. Mm, the boss sign of approval. Mm. So I, I tasted one. It's 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 pretty hot. It's a little piece of, piece of chocolate. I say, hey, Dad, you want to try these? Oh, sure, I like hot. I like spicy. His tolerance of hot and spicy is taking a tumble. So I put a handful in there. And uh, he puts them in his mouth. And he, <laughs> about, I don't know, 30 seconds later, he's turning red. And he's going, oh, these are, these are pretty warm. And there was a couple ladies in there, a lady behind the counter, and a couple of ladies had come in to, uh, to buy some chocolates and stuff. I said, well, that wasn't very nice. They shouldn't have done that to your dad. I said, let me tell you a story. So I told them the story I just told you, and they, they looked at my dad, and they looked at each other and said, you deserve that. He goes, he does this. He goes, I don't even know if he remembers it. And he goes, oh, oh, oh yeah, I probably do. You know, I wanted my boy to be tough, so I, I raised him tough. Boy, he was tough. You know, growing up on a farm and, you know, polio and stuff and working just as hard as everybody else. He was a man. He was a man. He worked. That's kind of what I'm going to talk about today. Now that I've told me a little humor thing. It's going to tie in to CLE. Let me tell you. This is another one of them cigars that I could fill a room full of smoke of it and roll around in it. Because I, I really enjoy it that much. The smell is great. The burn is great. The ash, look at that. It's beautiful. It's nice. A little bit of darkness, probably from the Maduro wrap. It's really nice. You know, the hair thing. Um, I'll tell you, this is a pet peeve of mine, probably a lot of people. It's kind of like the story of the man in the mirror, you know, talk to the guy in the mirror. I know people throughout my life that, uh, they kind of want everything. They want it for free. They don't want to work for it. They want stuff given to them. They want to just kind of be mooches. And I just don't like that. You know, earn it. Damn it. Earn your stuff. Man the hell up. Okay? Man up. You know, I know people that... I'm not going to get into this crap, but... You know, I, I'm really passionate about it. I'm kind of fired up about it. Take care of your kids. Take care of your kids. Take care of your wife or your ex-wife. If, if you get divorced and you got kids, pay your child support, man. People say, I don't want to pay a child support because I don't know how she's going to spend it. You know what that child support's for? It's to help your wife or, or your the, the dad, whoever's got the kids, to help supply the kids, help to raise them, to pay for their clothes, to pay for the school, to pay for the food. That's to help that. If you're not paying that because you don't like that person, you don't like your kids very much, then do you? If there's a problem there, if there's abuse, if there's substance abuse, if they're getting crazy, then do something about it, okay? It's protect your kids, and by protecting your kids, you're supplying them. You're supporting them. Man the hell up. I hate when I talk to people. I say, well, I don't want to get a job because half of it gets taken back because I've never paid child support. They're going to take half of it. I don't get that. Those are your kids. Go get two jobs. Support the kids that you had. If you got new kids, get a second job so you can support them. Come on. 
I could go on about this, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know people like this. And if they're that way, talk to them. Don't berate them and don't slap them upside the head, even though you want to. Kind of want to, yeah, you know, get their attention a little bit. Talk to them. Just, come on, man. Man the hell up. It's in here. It's in here. Come on. You know, this is my true belief. Women have a, 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 a do it better. They will do anything to take care of their kids. Men too. We all take care of our kids. But it's a it's that maternal thing, you know. They do a hell of a job. Support them so things support your kids. Be a good dad. Be a good father. Be there for them. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. So, I'm going to tell you a little about CLE and why this kind of ties into that. Right after I do a little more review. I've been smoking. It's, it's nice because I can drink my coffee. Look, this is actually a hazelnut today. I've got like two or three different kinds because I kind of like to mix it up a little bit. Kind of like my cigars. I like to mix up the cigars and my coffee. This is a kind of hazelnut. And that's, boy, let me, hang on. The taste is kind of similar. It doesn't have the hazelnut, but it's got that really coffee, chocolatey goodness. Wow. CLE, uh, it's, uh, his name is Christian, and I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the last name. It, it's, it's, uh, I don't want to butcher your last name. I really don't. But the CLE has a foundation, and they're giving back to the community, their local community there. And they are providing kids an education. You know, they're not just manning up. Because they got men, women, everybody that works there. They're being a human. They're humaning up. My word of the day, humaning. Human up. Come on. These kids are going to be adults someday. CLE has a foundation where they help kids with their education. They want to provide them an education. They want to help them get through the struggles in life. You know, there's there's kids that have, you know, they're they're raised in difficult situations. And they're helping that. And then they're going to provide them advanced education. How cool is that? How cool is that? Thank you, CLE. They don't want to see the kids fail because they're our future. You know, it's easy to say, well, the kids are our future. And you can sing that little song. Come on. The kids are the future. We were the future when we were kids. So they do that. They also provide a lot of reforestation where they're at. Anything they use, anything they do that affects the environment, even if, when it's in a positive way, they replant, they reforest, they, they put stuff back out there. It's renewable. And they're really big into the renewable energy field. Please check them out. Go on their website, check them out. They are doing incredible things. I salute CLE. I always got busted for not saluting people, officers in the military, because I didn't really respect them. So oh, look at that color. I got gold and silver up there. You work as hard as me. You do as much for other people as me. And I'll respect you. The officers that I, that I would salute, I respected the heck out of them. I remember when I'm Captain E.I. Kiley. He was captain of one of the ships I was on. A great man. Mr. Steinhorst, Klaus Steinhorst. He was, he was the man. He was an engineer man. He was the man. He was the man. I miss him. So anyway, CLA does all that stuff.
it's kind of getting uh, now that it's heating up. It's getting that earthy feel, kind of like the dirt that I wanted to rub all over myself and my dog started to eat. She's back here at my feet, laying all dislocated. Like it's got the earthiness. There's the ash thing again. I'm not gonna jump up and down and go oh, crap. Although well, you know you might think it, but you know what? Rub it in. If you're big enough and bad enough, and you walk around going, oh, "I got me this cigar," because I'm a burly, everyday kind of a guy, and then you jump up, you drop an ash, you jump up, and you go, "Oh, what's this ash on my ankle?" Come on, just rub it in, wear it, because. You can. Don't get upset about it. Come on. Man up. Person up. Woman up. Rub it in there. You'll be fine. And you'll smell good doing it. I haven't had to touch this up at all. Even though I kind of wandered around a little bit during the break. I played with my dog. Got dogs on both sides of me and the bulldog, even though this is like this little hole in the fence. Mm, the ritual hill on this. Got that little, like I was talking about that 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 kind of cayenne pepper to it. On the ritual hill, it's pretty pronounced, but it's it's nice. It's like you want more. And if there's dogs on either side of the fence, my bulldog. Her hair gets all raised up. She's then she's like this big round ball of fur, and uh, she just watches everything that goes on through that little teeny hole. Dogs walk by, and they're gone. And then she just sits there, and her ears are all folded up, all bulldogged up. They walk by again. And she tries to attack them and chew through the fence. It's pretty funny to watch. I'm gonna uh. Probably go again to about an inch and a half spot on this. And uh, I'll let you know how it finishes. And please, come on. It's in here. Everybody's got it. Stop being a victim and human up. You will be a better person for it. I promise you. I promise. You will be a better person for it. It worked for me. If it worked for this beat up old ex right fighter, I probably irritated a lot of people in my day be happy the people around you be happy support CLE because they're making people happy they're, they're being a human okay enough of that I'll be right back hey this is Boz I'm back with Boz Cigar Review hey Misha you want to say hi you want to say hi that's a good girl she didn't sit here and it's like a petter then of course my bulldog's coming ready what about me <clears throat> um, just wanted to expand on something I think is really important. I mentioned, uh, you know, have good bourbon, have a good whiskey. And uh, please, you know, have fun with that, but do it responsibly. Please do it responsibly. I was a, uh, a firefighter for a while. EMT saw accidents, saw people hurt and killed because of uh, drunk driving, please drink responsibly. man that was a mentor of mine spent over 25 years in the service. He was a man. He retired and was killed by a drunk driver. After all of that, teaching so many people, doing so much for his family, he was killed by a drunk driver like a four-time offender. So, you know, enjoy yourself, have good drinks, uh, enjoy what you're doing, like with the, with the bullet bourbon, and I'm gonna try the, uh, the bullet rye. Uh, whiskey, please do it responsibly. I cannot say that enough. I've seen what it happens, I've seen what happens. I've lost friends to it. Just do it responsibly. That, that's my public service announcement.
it's uh you know i was talking about the the uh, the hot taste on this kind of the cayenne kind of like a a, a hot uh, cinnamon you know you can kind of get that during the break tasha my wife came out give me a big old smooch i can't get nothing by her man i, I i'm telling you I was on this diet thing this all vegetable diet which is good for you I'm a meat and taters guy, but I did it for two weeks. I actually lost like 10 pounds. Felt pretty good. But it was it was tough. She came out and gave me a big... But anyway, I, I could go and I, I would cheat. I'd go grab a burger. I'd wash my mouth out with like a water, um, a Sprite or something like that. I'm not big on soda, but I would you know, gargle and uh, rinse. And I'd come on and go, okay, she's not going to know. Yeah, all right. She'd give me a smooch. She'd go, you had a burger. And she could, I swear, man, she could rattle off wherever I went to have that burger. Can't get nothing by her. Come over and give me a big old smooch. She goes, that's kind of a spicy cinnamon. This from kissing me, smoking the CLE. Like I told you, it's had that spicy kind of, not so much a cayenne, but that that little bit of a, uh, a bite to it. And she noticed it. So I'm going to have to have her on here doing some reviews too. She's way better to look at than me. Let me tell you. So, into the second third, as it's heated up, I purge it a little bit. The tobacco notes have really picked up. You could taste a real tobacco finish. Uh, the sweetness is pretty much gone at this point. The ash is doing well. I'm going to polish it off here after the show. I'm going to. Go over and uh, take the label off. Kind of hate to take that label off. This is look at. I just can't get over how classy that is. This is a classy label. You know, not a lot on it, which I, I like labels that you can kind of you can read them. You know, it's like uh, you know having a cigar and a read at the same time. And uh, but the spiciness is still there. The pepper, as it's warmed up, has uh, increased, but in a really pleasant way. A really <clears throat> kind of way. This is a little longer. Joe, sorry if I bored you. But I, I just had some things I really needed to get off my chest. You know. That hopefully uh, helps. So, next time. I'm going to do. Uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Went to Cigar Cave. Talked to Jesse, the owner there. He's hooking me up. Oh, hey. You okay. <laughs> I got to watch her walk away. Stand by. Okay. <laughs> you got to watch him coming and watch him walking away, man. You got a grandson. This is his two thumbs up. Atticus. Got five grandkids. He's, 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 he's a cool kid. That's his two thumbs up. I go, X, is that pretty cool? So, if you give it two crooked thumbs up, it's a good thing. So, you know, I went in, uh, Scar Cave and he gave me, I said, hey, you know, I'd like to try a different variety. Kind of hooked me up because he knows what I like. And I'm going to do those next. Have a good day smoking. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy whatever you're going to drink. I'm going to have my bullet bourbon tonight. And uh, I'm going to enjoy myself. And why can I enjoy myself? And all of you out there. Because we earned it. Never forget that. Till next time. Have a great day. <laughs>